old man river just keeps on skipping the bop bop sheep bop ba doop ba dop ming bop ba de bow da ba da da bow. I'm gonna review. Hey, you album review <laughs> today we're gonna be a quick one because today we're covering another tom waits album swordfish trombone not a lot to say about it um pretty good i've heard interviews with tom uh tom waits and he's described this as kind of a, a dreamlike experience at least that's how he wants you to feel i think it comes through overall just like uh, Tom Waits last album, I will have the criticism that a lot of the album blends in, but it does a good job of creating a distinct tone and style. Um, not too many standout songs though in this one, unlike the last album, Closing Time. Closing Time had a lot of just really great stuff where Swordfish Trombone was uh, mostly great throughout. But there was a couple that were just kind of mediocre and not necessarily unnecessary, but they didn't quite see their full potential. The titular Swordfish Trombone song is the only real standout on this album. The rest, good, listenable, enjoyable, but I wouldn't say great or uh, very memorable. I don't have a lot to say about this one because... It mainly does kind of fit in, and me personally, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. So, so what would I rate it? Yeah, we're already on the ratings. Um, I would rate it. I'd give Swordfish Trombones a 7. Pretty good. I just want to get this out of the way too, but I've now seen Tom Waits in Down by Law, the Jim Jarmusch film. Very good. Not only is he a great musician, but apparently he's a great actor too. So if you haven't seen Down by Law, I would say go watch that. Watch most anything from Jim Jarmusch. Go see Ghost Dog Way of the Samurai. And I'd give Down by Law a 9 out of 10.